Food Fight's an exciting new campaign for Food Bank, Australia's largest hunger relief organisation. You may not realise that there are thousands of Aussies going hungry every day, and many of them aren't on the street. They're in yours. And often those seeking food relief are from low-income families or a single parents. So today we're cooking one of my signature dishes for the Food Fight campaign, chocolate mousse with Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Now there's three key components of this dish. There's the chocolate mousse, there's the corn flake and chocolate biscuit crumb, but there's a cereal ice cream that's made from corn flakes. That's the first thing that we're gonna get on the go because you really want to infuse the milk and the cream with that cereal flavor, okay? So we've got six key things that, that are going into the ice cream. We've got some milk, we've got some cream, we've got some condensed milk, some sugar, some malt powder for that wonderful cereal sort of toasted flavour. And of course we've got our breakfast cereal. Yeah, one of my personal favourites, the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Now we're going to bring that to the boil and infuse for 15 minutes. Then we're going to strain it and put it into the ice cream machine. Now for the base of the chocolate mousse, I'm going to use the corn flakes, add some chocolate, some praline and some butter and melt them together and then roll out a beautiful chalky biscuit base. We just get the bowl onto boiling water, but off the stove because you don't want to burn the chocolate. Yeah, this will take about five to ten minutes, yeah, just to gently melt the chocolate. I add the praline, which is basically a hazelnut paste and some butter. Now the butter just helps it set in the fridge a little bit. Now my chocolate praline and butter is perfectly melted so I'm going to fold in the cornflakes and then we're going to roll it out between baking paper. So now I'm just going to roll my chalky Kellogg's Corn Flakes between two pieces of baking paper and then this will be the base for our chocolate mousse. Now I'm just going to pop that in the fridge for about 30 minutes just to set nice and firm. Right, so now for the fun bit, we're going to make our chocolate mousse. So I have my chocolate that's been melted off the stove just on a double boiler. I add the orange zest and the orange juice. Yeah, give it a good whisk. And then I'm gonna separate my eggs. The egg yolks are gonna go in my chocolate mix and I'm gonna whisk the egg whites and then fold them through. Now, when you add the orange juice, all the chocolate comes together and it looks like it's gonna separate and go a little bit firm, so I put it back on the double boiler. Now, my four yolks go into the chocolate mix and then I'm gonna whisk my egg whites with the 30 grams of sugar. Now as soon as you add the egg yolks, give the chocolate mix a really good beat. Now when the egg whites are at a soft peak, I gently add the sugar. And then I continue whisking until they really come up to firm peaks. Right, and so now to our chocolate mix, we fold in our cream and then we fold in our whipped egg whites. Now just gently fold through your egg whites and then put in a piping bag and place aside for later. Right, so now we're going to construct our chocolate mousse. We've got our corn flakes with chocolate rolled out between our baking paper and I've got a couple of steel moulds. We'll just press that down. Now if you don't have a stainless steel mould like me, you could always use a cake tin or you could cut it around with a jam jar. Right, so now we pipe our chocolate mousse into the ring mould and we leave set for two to three hours. 
Now we've let our chocolate mousse set in the fridge for two to three hours and we've turned it out of the mould and we've popped it on the plate. Now we're going to give it a chefy touch and finish it with some honeycomb and some mandarin segments and of course our cornflake ice cream. So this is my chocolate mousse with Kellogg's cornflakes ice cream. So this is why I'm joining the food fight and you can also help feed those that are going hungry. Simply buy Kellogg's Corn Flakes this August and a food donation will go to Food Bank to help fight hunger in Australia.